is just like no way possible that I have this 808 here and I can't hear it in my phone. <laughs> you have problems hearing your 808s when you bounce your tracks out on your phone or you can't hear it in your computer speakers but you can hear it in the monitor very faintly or you're using you know some 808 samples that came from the Reason factory sound or the Ableton factory sound and it's just not hidden for you but it's an 808 sample what's going on <laughs> well I'm gonna show you how to fix it okay I got a track right here there's an 808 right in front of us you should be able to see it let's listen well we're gonna try to listen let me know if you hear it that's not what was supposed to happen I can hear it very faint um, I can feel it more than I can hear it and that could be a problem when you get on systems that require that don't have low frequency speakers so this is how you do it now I'm gonna show you some ways that you might think you can do it and then uh, show you a better way uh, you can add a compressor, of course. That doesn't sound good, though. It just sounds like a wall of... Whatever that is. So, rather than do that, uh, what I like to do is add distortion. So, I'm going to turn on my effects rack right here. Camel Crusher. Camel Crusher is free. So, let's see what this looks like. Yours will probably look different than this, actually. I'm picky, and I think Camel Crusher is a really ugly plug-in, so I changed the skin on it, but it's the same thing. Uh, really nice presets in here. Um, let's just listen to what it sounds like with just this Camel Crusher on. Let's go through some presets here. Hey, let's solo the 808 for a second. I know you heard that on your phone. That one probably a little quieter. But the point is that distortion is going to be the answer to you being able to hear your 808s that contain mostly sub frequencies on small speakers. All right, uh, some of my favorite presets for this would be like the British Clean and Crunch. I usually use one of those. Crunch is gonna have some more top-end distortion going on there. Now, aside from that, Camel Crusher is free, but there's another option I have in here that is free. Uh, saturation uh, by Soft Tube. This was free, as I said 50 times before. Not 50, but you know, we can all count. Let's turn this up. So there's three options, keep high, neutral, and keep low. If you want to be able to hear it in small speakers, you're going to want to do neutral or keep high. Now that sounds like complete mutilation with the stuff going on, and I don't necessarily always like that sound. It depends on the 808. The effect is going to depend on the 808, and the 808 is going to depend on the effect. So. Keep an open mind. Some other plugins you might want to check out for your 808s is FabFilter Saturn. Uh, I believe this is Saturn 1 and not 2, which is a mistake in my template. But either way, it can add some really dope flavor to your 808s. This is warm tape, so we could do something like destroy and see how bad that sounds. <laughs> So don't add too much, don't overdo it, is the point I'm trying to make here. Something like that might be nice. All right, now for the test. Let's go ahead and go with Camel Crusher here. And let's play it. I'm gonna go to my master, and in my master I have 
a plugin called Mix Checker, which also has a phone app, which allows me to control the buttons. I'll show you that in a second. But if I put this on phone, let's uh, listen to what this 808 sounds like with the saturation added. All right, and let's go turn off that saturation and see what we hear in the presence of the other elements of the beat. It disappeared, fam. So saturation is definitely gonna be at least one solution to this issue, right? The other plugins I have in my effects rack, for those of you who might be wondering, is this one by Waves, the multi-mod rack. And what you could do here is, for example, I'm gonna do a full reset on this plugin. And let's add Berserk. Pull down the drive. So one of my favorite characters is this clipped one. And Berserk comes as a single plugin if you're not interested in everything else. Now there are other options inside of that plugin like uh, the Abbey Road Saturator, as well as Fuzz and Screamer. And you can have tons of fun if you decide to go with the multi-mod rack plugin. But otherwise, uh, the free options I gave, Camel Crusher and Saturation Knob will be, uh, they will suffice. Now, Decapitator is another option I decided to throw in because this one is also dope. some different styles here so you can have fun low cut tone high cut all of those things but um yeah camel crush all right i just switched the settings to something that i actually liked um this is what it looks like british crunch uh the mix level is down here output gain about there all right and then here's mix checker and i pulled it up on my phone this is what it looks like on my phone here so let's uh let's hear this. Now obviously you don't have to use your phone to control it because you can do it via the plugin, but I just wanted to show you all the option. So you could listen outside of the room if you wanted to, just to see what it sounds like outside of the room or down the hallway, anything like that. Mono options. Could turn cha change the external noise. Distort a signal. More phones. Earbuds. And again, let's go ahead and turn this camel crusher off and see what happens. So by adding character to our 808 via distortion or saturation, anything like that, you can get your 808s to translate all right it's all culture kick back and cook up let me know what you would like to see next also